Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play EG. Today, we're doing our pacifist run of Sector 8. So, for the pacifist run of Sector 8, you're gonna wanna get used to, uh, you know, yeah, that sound effect. Mainly because there is quite a bit of nano just lying around on the ground, but it's usually all around enemies. So, I'm gonna be getting hit a lot, and you're gonna be hearing EG scream quite a bit. Now, you know, I do have it equipped, and I could just be using the Resonance Reflector, but it was so risky to do that in the original runs because you could accidentally kill somebody in the crossfire and you know I'm trying not to kill people with the resonance reflector for this because that's not how they used to be so I'm gonna try and avoid using it I'm also gonna try and avoid annihilators for the most part although we are gonna let them pretty much kill everything in their paths for instance this elite right here because everybody drops nano but figures that the annihilator picks it up thanks buddy told you guys that would be annoying later on so once we get up here we're just gonna let these uh, elites well on that annihilator and go over here and get the nano from this room with the commander in it You'll be able to just pick it up and stealth out before you can see us there we go. And the Annihilator's done. But, you know, that Annihilator probably took a lot of damage. If I could hack him and get him to misfire, oh, come on. I might be able to get him to kill himself. Which would be useful since, oh, lovely, since Annihilators drop a lot of nano. And there we go. Okay. Charge it up and now. Nah, no good. Now you might be thinking, oh, why don't you just get him to misfire again? Enemies actually have a bit of AI to them, and if you hack them, or crack them, and they misfire, then they won't fire their heavy weapons again. It's actually kind of interesting. Now. No. I passed over this thing in the violent run, but. Maybe it actually has some sort of use. And here Dan gives a little tutorial about it. It's called a trap mine, and you can use it to booby trap teleporters. It's kind of specific. But I'm sure it'll come in handy. Moving right along. Oh god. <laughs> and yeah, if you hadn't pick, picked up on it yet, that's kind of what happens when you get close to uh, Annihilator. We'll just move right along. Actually, an interesting thing to point out, Annihilators actually aren't like huge Kamado. They're actually Kamado in, I guess you could say giant mechs. And we'll actually see that later on. Now for this sector, you may have noticed before I finished upping my health, I'm actually upping our strength so we can open up a few more doors later on in sectors. And I'm upping our assimilate because, although I don't need no more ammo, it lets me pick up more armor. Yeah, Dan, we know. Activate the lift, wait for enemies to come. And I guess we could use the trap mine here, but it seems like such a, I don't know, waste. Plus, I have a better idea. Switch to our rocket, activate this, and play dead. Stay quiet. Don't move. Stealth. Stealth. Oh god. 
Just don't pay me any mind. Just a dead body. Oh. This is working surprisingly well. Oh god. So yeah, they actually put a mechanic in that if you're lying on the ground when enemies see you, they'll think that you're dead. And they'll just ignore you. Unless they walk up to you and touch you. It's kind of like having invis, nano invis, but you can't move. It really doesn't have that many practical applications over the course of the game. So, you know, I really wanted to show it off, so I thought I'd show it off there. So, just like in the Violent Run, the Phantom Hammer came down, destroyed the shield generator, and Dan got kidnapped. Now, I don't know because, of course, I killed them all in the Violent Run, but I don't know if this is exactly what it is, but all the enemies here seem to disappear when the Phantom Hammer comes down. Well, actually, I guess they don't all disappear. This guy's still here, and we're invisible, so I'm just going to walk right up and hack him. Sorry, crack him. And MPFP, nice. I really have to abuse that more. I could probably hit the max level if I, you know, actually cracked every person. But that's a little tedious, and you know, for the videos, I think I won't. I was always a little confused by the Nana Overload there. Because it's like, yeah, you can pick it up, but this area is emptied out of enemies after the Phantom Hammer hits, so why even bother? By the way, this is why I took the string. It just seems like a waste of a Nano Overload, but I guess that's just me, and I've been wrong in the past. Also, you kind of have to alert these guards here so that they destroy this explosive crate and won't accidentally kill somebody. They might be able to take the blast, but better safe than sorry, and at this point in the sector I'd rather just not accidentally kill somebody. Alright, so this time will be different. He fought a ton of guys. I can definitely get him to kill himself. Come on. Come on, fire your rockets. Yeah, mm, no. One of these days, I'll get an Annihilator to kill himself. It's more similar. Now, we all know what's coming up here. There's Dan. And there's the teleporter that the trooper comes in. Let's just, uh, yeah. See how this plays out.
So yeah, by using that tele that trap mine on that teleporter, you can actually prevent Dan's death, which you actually have to do in the pacifist run, because the trooper that teleports in, that EG kills, that counts as a kill. So to keep your zero kills, you have to take him out with the trap mine. So that was Sector 8, and I'll see you guys over in Sector 9.